All right, let's do some t-tests. Um, anytime you're doing t-tests, right, you're gonna compare the average of two groups. Uh, so in this case, we have some businesses from one industry versus another, and we wanna see which type of industry on average has more customers, if any. So we're just gonna run a t-test to see if their averages are similar or different. Um, it means this is not a paired test um, because we're not pulling, I mean, they're not paired in any way. There's different sample sizes, all those things. So the, the things we need for a paired t-test just don't exist. So really easy when we have non-paired in my class, at least we do this, right? We run both, um, uh, we run both equal variance and unequal variance t-tests. We make sure that they agree. If they don't, then we can talk about what else to do. Um, so if you don't have this data analysis piece in your data tab, you go to file over here and in options, you can go to add-ins right here. Come on, there we go. Hit go and you can just hit that little checkbox and okay. And you will get the analysis tool pack which will show up like that in your data tab. So data analysis, we're gonna run, again, we don't have paired uh, a paired t-test here, so we're going to run equal and uh, unequal variance. So I'm going to hit OK on equal. Um, variable range 1, control shift down, variable range 2, hit here, control shift down. So I just highlight the data for 1 and 2. I'm going to, you need labels if you're including um, row 1 here because these are just the names uh, and it'll get confused if you don't hit labels because they're not numbers and it won't be able to run a t-test on those things. So the labels mark it out and you'll see it'll make the output easier to read. Uh, and then click output range and tell it to go somewhere over here, okay? And then we just hit okay. And you get something that looks like this, okay? There we go. I don't like all the numbers so I tend to like control here and highlight all of them and reduce the number of decimals and stuff but anyway all of that's just aesthetic stuff the main thing we're looking at is our p-values so uh, a industry a has an average of 4920 customers per business and uh, industry B has 5698 and a half or so per business on average and what the t-test tells us is uh, you know is this sample difference, the sample average difference, is it actually meaningful? Uh, is, there, is there reason to believe that, that the difference is statistically significant? Uh, and in this case, assuming we're not in a one tail, remember we only do one tail if we believe there should be a difference, uh, and that makes it harder to prove that there isn't a difference, uh, or in this case it's probably a two tail, so we're trying to say are these things the, the same or different, and if, um, if they are different this will be a low p-value. So um, in this case, if, if we're at our typical alpha level, uh, like I said, 0.05 is usually our alpha, so we're okay with being wrong 5% of the time, uh, or the converse is 95% confident, um, <clears throat> you know, this p-value is below that marker. So it's 0.016, so 1.6%, um, which is less than 5.05 or 5%. Uh, and so this is significantly different. So this says that the statistical difference here is significant, okay? So um, so at least based on this sample, it looks like industry B has an aver uh, more customers on average per company, okay, or per business over here, okay? Does that make sense? Let's make sure the other agrees. So again, I ran an equal variance and an unequal variance. If they both say the same thing, then I don't care about the variance. If they say something different, then I gotta go do like F tests and things like that. Okay, so we'll highlight that. We'll highlight this. Hit labels, hit output range. Click over here, hit okay. Output range missing. Did I not pick that up? Oh, well, uh, let me try that again. All right, there we go. Okay. And the p value is pretty much the same. Uh, they're usually pretty close. In this case, they're really close together. But, uh, that is a significant difference as well. The only time this would not be a significant difference, so we would say the averages look pretty similar, is if we wanted to be 99% sure. In that case, this is above the alpha of 0.01, and then it would not be a significant difference. So it depends on how sure we want to be. 
Um, but other than that, that's that's all we're really doing. So a lot of times I'll just have you highlight the p-value you're looking at, uh, or two tail or one tail, and then tell me, hey, this is below alpha. P-value below alpha means significant difference. So the average for A is not the same as the average for B, at least based on our samples here. Okay? And that is it for T-tests.